to now try this the podcast where two best friends get together every week to talk about their favorite things i'm marcus that beautiful man over there is nick nick how are you doing oh my god i am so good and i'm so glad that our friendship is so strong so intact such a paragon of friendship in the world that I'm able to share with you things that I'm ashamed of. <laughs> Nick, I I don't know. And just a warning to our fans. This this episode is going to get heavy. Marcus. What? It was my challenge this week, buddy. Yeah, no, I 100% understand. And and our friendship is not going to stand the test of this challenge. I do, I'm hoping it does. So we can continue to have a wonderful podcast where people get to participate and have fun and, 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 and join us in on the challenges. But it might crumble. So we'll see what happens. In my head, after American Mall, we can persevere through anything i specifically referenced american mall while watching this with darren i was like this movie is this ain't no american mall (laughs) this is not american mall i miss american mall this movie made me fond of the memories of american mall oh my god do you want to do american mall next week i honestly would i honestly would do american mall we should revisit that film guys this week on the pod we are doing the 2007 brats movie that's right, Bratz, B-R-A-T-Z, based off of the popular doll, I almost said action figures, doll, doll it's not series. Action. You can't pull that bullshit. It's not a doll, <laughs> it's an action figure, Bob. No, it's a fucking doll franchise. It's a Bratz doll. Marcus, what do you, what do you, what do you know about Bratz before Nick, this film? You normally there's like you know, some banter we have before the podcast we'll have banter. I just want to, I want to set I, this up. I feel like I've been so hyped for this because I've been so angry <laughs> at you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I've known nothing about Bratz other than that. It was a, a movie that you've teased for a while now on the podcast. And since we took a yeah. long break, I feel like it's been years in the making and you've been hearing about this movie for years this is correct and i have i was like great i'm never gonna watch it when we took a break i was like thank god you know like the one good thing that came out of us taking our break was that i didn't have to watch brats and now i'm fucked <laughs> it came back around and now i have to watch brats so all i knew and was you that had to watch brats it was a doll dolls a series of dolls and i saw that they had animated movies and stuff and that was it i've never seen any of the animated movies i haven't felt the the desire to go check them out uh but marcus last week we did a wonderful challenge that's a lie we didn't do anything last week because the week before that we did a patreon episode we did re zero the anime what is it starting a new life yes starting Starting life life in another world or something like that that is there it is and that was brought to us by a patron a fan guys guess what is coming next month i know you've been waiting for it i know you've been hankering for it i know you've been flapping apping apping about it (laughs) Guys, October is Spooky Go Scare and Boo Boo Month, and it is coming your way next month. Everything is scary. Why Everything do you do this? is creepy. Why do you do what? That's the name of the, Every the month. Every year, we call it it's it's Spooky Boys Month. We've called it Spooktober, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. somehow every time we say it, you find a new way of pronouncing it marcus i'm not sure what you mean mm. everybody knows mm. that october is trick or troctober month <laughs> everybody knows that's what it is and that's what it's gonna be you don't make any sense to me right now you're right but you're next right. month everything's scary and horror and creepy and off kilter and weird and we want the suggestions to do the same guys if you go to patreon.com slash now try this cast you give five dollars, you can leave a suggestion for the Patreon. And if you give just one dollar, you can vote on those suggestions. Go become a part of the community. Go decide what we're gonna try in Give Me a Sheet, because I'm a ghost month. I'm running out of things. <laughs> beautiful, uh, beautiful. I love it. And Spooky I Boys it. Month is coming your way, and we want you to be a part of it. Nice. Marcus, do you have any idea what you are giving this uh, month for Spooky Boys Month? I have too many things. I have a, a have bunch of movies. Uh, yeah, October is the month where I am overwhelmed with how many options I have 
with what to give you. Normally I'm panicking, I'm scrambling, but October, I'm good. There's so many great movies coming out. There's so many great movies that have come out. Dune is coming out. And now that's not mm-hmm. technically horror, but you know, it, there's a lot of horror elements and I'll do a lot of uh, of work to make make it fit into the month. In the past, we've done Halloween. We've done Leprechaun. Uh, what else have we done? We did Leprechaun House, in the Hood. The Haunting of House on the Hill. Uh-huh. Hell House, the Haunting of Hill House. We did a Black Swan. Freddy versus Jason. We put to bed the long list, long lasting feud between Jason X and Freddy mm-hmm. versus Jason. Mm-hmm. Guys, go check out our Freddy versus Jason versus Jason X. Yes. <laughs> Where we put that debate to bed. Uh-huh. 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 I forget uh, yeah, we did that. Month. I'm very excited. We watched both movies. I only for the remember because I'm looking at our website. Uh, that was fun. Jason X yeah. is good, but Freddy vs. Jason was better, and that Fred, was the yeah. Debate. That was this because yeah, that we decided that. <laughs> I think at the end, uh, Marcus, how you been doing? Everything good? Have you tried anything new these past two weeks while we're off? I am great. What to? Um, we we were at a mutual friend's wedding. Shout out to John and Amanda. Congratulations yeah, on uh, starting a happy life shit. together. But forget about that because I am excited about Mario news. What Mario news? It was just announced a, a few game hours up? ago that Mario. Breaking news. Breaking news for I guess when we're streaming. <laughs> Mario's <laughs> getting a live action, uh, not a live action. Mario's getting a movie, an animated movie. Oh shit! And what it's kind of an animated movie. December 2022, and the cast has been revealed. That's it. Nothing else but the cast is revealed. So don't look. Are you looking? Stop looking. I just looked. I just looked. Fuck you, man. I was gonna have you guess. Sorry. Uh, okay. Oh, so I would have never guessed this. So. Chris Pratt is playing Mario. Wild. Anya Taylor that Joy is, is playing Princess Peach. That makes sense. I believe that. Charlie Day is Luigi. And I, I, I when I heard that Mario is m- being made into an animated movie, I was like, this is going to be what? hot garbage. This is going to be a bad movie what? and I'm going to hate it. And then immediately when they announced Charlie Day as Luigi, I was like, yes, 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 yes. A hundred times. Yes, that's wild. And then you got Jack Black as Bowser. Another great choice. Jack casting. Black is Bowser. Yes, that is epic. Keegan Michael Key as Toad. That's weird. Seth <laughs> Rogen as Donkey Kong. And Donkey that's Kong. all we got right now. Whoa, I'm that's so weird. <laughs> pretty excited. I feel like other than Chris Pratt, I am excited for the movie. I like Chris Pratt. Sure, but Mario. I don't know. He did a good job in the Lego movie. He did, but it's not Mario. He did like a really good, like a really, really good job. You know who should have been Mario? Who? No one. Mario should have been silent the whole movie. He should just be quiet because there's never gonna, they're never gonna get his personality right. They're never gonna do a, him any justice. So just have him be silent the whole time. He gets kidnapped, and everyone else has to save Mario. <gasps> That's a great movie. That's a great pitch. I would watch the shit out of that movie. Right? That's awesome. I want to yeah, watch all that's... the other characters. I don't care about Mario. I never pick Mario in anything. Wow. I always picked Luigi growing up. Exactly. Yeah. Luigi's better. Though I do like uh, Mario is one of my mains in Smash. So <laughs> well, so I'm confused, though. It's it's animated like Sonic the Hedgehog was animated. or It's animated like it's like uh, the Lego movie. Lego movie. Lego movie. It's all animated. Oh, weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's exciting. I, Are you I'm excited? interested. I'm interested to see be- Charlie hmm. Day was the turning point for me, and I'm convinced. I think he can make the movie funny. Him and Jack Black are just funny people. I think it's a little weird though, because like the Sonic movie, when that had a voice, there wasn't a voice for Sonic in my head because the games he doesn't talk, and the cartoons were like they were good. They were good voice acted, but a good voice actor is like they're so like it, it, it's not. <laughs> I don't know. You know Weird what I'm that you to say? say I like, have the opposite. Oh, I feel. I feel like I don't have a voice for Mario because it's just the one guy who's been doing Mario and going woohoo, wahee, ha ha, the whole time. But Sonic has been uh, Jaleel White for like for decades. So in my head, it's like sure. the Jaleel White, like oh, gotta go fast, corn dogs, blah, 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 you know. And he's yeah. had like several video games where Sonic spoke. Yeah, Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure Two. Like all that generation of Sonic, he was talking the whole time. There were scenes. So I feel like to me, Sonic at least has had time to develop a personality. Whereas Mario. I feel like what's his face that did the Sonic movie, though, like was paying homage to that. Right. Like, yeah, he was was. doing. 
Yeah, right? yeah. But, I, he's he's my, his, his but is Chris Pack gonna be? Oh, That's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree 100. percent Because like, what the fuck is Mario? Mario has no personality. And is Charlie nothing. Day gonna sound like Luigi? Charlie Dick. Luigi has personality though. Mario doesn't have personality, but Luigi. Have you played Luigi's Mansion? He's got personality. I've never played Luigi's Mansion. It's fun stuff. I would love to. If you uh, buy me a Switch, I will play it right now. Guys, enough about us and our lives and enough about Mario oh, news. Oh, sorry. Yeah, what, what do you have new going on before we get back to Bratz? Uh, nothing. Let's talk about Bratz. Okay, Bratz. <laughs> Let's get Marcus, to Bratz. Yes. I gave you the Bratz film because no. I like this on. movie. Before you go into right, it. On. Nick, we got to do it right. Yes. Nick, okay, I'm ready. You absolute piece of shit. Why? Why? Of all the movies on this earth, did you give me... The Bratz movie. So growing up, <laughs> okay. we didn't have a lot of money. <laughs> You're 17 at the time, just just for uh, everyone's reference. Yeah, growing up, we didn't have a lot of money. Mm-hmm. So I didn't have cable for most of my life. Mm-hmm. This included high school. Mm-hmm. At one point, I remember very distinctly, my sister came home with a pile of bootleg DVDs like this. Mm-hmm. Like she like gave five bucks to some random dude and gave her a whole bunch of shits. Like Fast <laughs> yeah. and the Furious movie, oh, this, yes. that, I'm the other very thing. Familiar Whatever with was that. like revelant, uh, revelant at that time. Mm-hmm. And one of them was the Bratz movie. Now, as you, I'm sure you can assume with someone with no cable, watched all of the films on the mm-hmm. pile. Every single one. But then I watched the Bratz film again <laughs> and again and again and again. Don't call me out. <laughs> I so, was a kid at 17 years old. You're getting called Nick. that in the chat. It says exactly what I said. Stop saying you were a kid. You were 17 years old. I was a grown man at 17. I was not. I was a child. You know why <laughs> I don't feel bad about saying that? Because uh-huh. one of the reasons I enjoyed watching this film is because I was a 17-year-old watching hot 17-year-old girls in a movie. That's okay. That makes more sense to me than yeah, you being like, totally I fine. was a kid and I loved this. Bre- no. But you being like, ah, these girls are hot and I want to keep looking at them. Valid. That's it why, was both. That's why, why can't most it be both? people are on Instagram. Like, They're it, not mutually exclusive. Exists. It's both. But but I'll okay, all joking aside, I, I really did watch this film dozens of times because I had so little things to watch. And I literally was watching this film like in my spare time, singing the songs, <laughs> enjoying the play, knowing all the so, words. I get that. I, I would say that I've had similar situations like I of a also, guilty pleasure, bad movie, like in the VCR somewhere. I was also poor and I feel like we had after Saturday morning cartoons on Channel 11. There was yeah. like a movie and a handful of movies that were playing in, in like in cycles. And so for oh, me, yeah. my thing, and I guess you will get this as a challenge later, was Ernest. The Ernest movies like Ernest Scared Stupid. Oh, those I, I've guys, never seen any of them. Yeah, those yeah, yeah. played a lot after Saturday Morning Cartoons. So I ended up watching yes. all those movies, loving those. And those are very bad movies. But I have a fondness for them. So I get I get where you're coming from. Well, listen, I... I am prepared for the shenagling I'm going to be getting during the show because this movie was the runner up to the Raz the Razzie Awards that year. The only reason it lost was because that movie I Know Who Killed Me by L- Lindsay Lohan. That movie where she's a stripper, oh, yeah. like that movie after like Mean Girls and everything, where yeah, she wanted yeah, yeah. to be like an adult, came out, and that won that year oh god that's crazy right. but that was a tough year because that year was norbit wow that year was i now pronounce you chuck and larry which honestly Holy is a good sh- film but it's just like inappropriate it's, it's problematic okay. <laughs> now it's problematic i remember liking it as a kid i didn't know any better yeah. i was like oh kevin james adam sandler they're funny and now i'm like oh that's like deeply insensitive honestly i did like it when it came out I'm not going to yeah, lie same. i'm not going to pretend <laughs> same so the for those that don't know the brats is a line of dolls that came out to compete with Barbie. They had exaggerated eyes and waists and features. Mm -hmm. Let me just read the wiki. It's an American product line of fashion dolls and merchandise created by Carter Bryant. The four original 10-inch dolls were released in 2001. They featured almond-shaped eyes adorned with eyeshadow and lush, big, glossy lips. These were pretty popular. Bratz Reed's great success in the original line of dolls was expanded with spinoffs, including Bratz Kids, Bratz Babies, Bratz Zillas, as well as media features, various things. Yeah. So in 2007, they made a live action movie starring a slew of women and people. Marcus, it's funny because this movie has a little bit of a connection to our podcast, as I'm sure you noticed. Oh, I noticed. Uh, oh, I noticed. <laughs> a little back way when Marcus's brother challenged us to watch... <laughs> 
The Legend of Simon Conjure, aka Deadly Lessons, one of the worst films ever made. <laughs> it was a it was a hoot and a holler to watch. But two of those actors are in this film. One yep. of them being Chloe and one of them being John Voight, who plays the principal. I was so happy when I found that connection because I was looking at the cast list. And I was like, oh, my God, are you fucking serious? They're in <laughs> The Legend of Simon Conjure. Of course, that movie comes back to haunt us. Mm -hmm. And here's something better. I think John Voight is friends with the girl that plays Chloe. Because she hasn't done a lot. Mm -hmm. She did Simon Conjure. She did Bratz. She did a couple other things. And then she was pretty much obscure. But then very recently, last year, she was in a Hallmark movie called J.L. Ranch that also stars John Voight. She is his god. He's her godfather or something like that. Really? Grandfather, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Ah, there you go. Yeah, there is. It says it on the IMDP page. I forgot what it says. But. Oh, it doesn't say it in the Wikipedia. Cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So there's a little there's connection, a connection to one of our yeah, old yeah. things. So the movie follows the four original Brett dolls oh my as God. if they were high school freshmen. They're four best friends about to go to high school for the first time. And guess what? Oh, no. High school hijinks ensue. Marcus, yes. are you a fan of high school no. friendship movies? This, this movie <laughs> felt like it was trying so hard to be high school musical, but didn't want to be a musical. And Mean Girls. And Mean Girls. It was like, what if we just combined those two movies together? What would we yeah. get? hot garbage is the answer because well it's not a bad thought right because uh, mean girls super popular high school musical super popular and brad's a super popular doll yeah. line so completely people, makes sense people forget in the equation of what people would like to that like talent and good writing are a part of that equation as well you know what's wild to me is half of these girls i don't know but the other half of the girls i very much do know when they went on to have careers mm -hmm. natalia ramos and skylar shea i don't know anything else they've been in but logan browning who plays sasha stars in dear white people on netflix yeah. and janelle Parrish, who stars jade went on to be in pretty little liars and a spinoff and she's now the sister older sister in to all the boys i love yes 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 I knew that two of them did good and two of them did badly. And honestly, okay, in Mark, this movie, yeah. they are the same level of acting quality. There's nothing to differentiate the two. From this movie, yeah. I couldn't tell which ones were going to be famous. Yeah, I would agree with that. <gasps> you know, but we knew it wasn't going to be Chloe. <laughs> we knew. <it> was <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. OK, so Marcus, start start me off. I gave you this film. You looked at the poster. You mm -hmm. didn't know what you were getting yourself into. And you start watching it. Pay me a picture, buddy. The, I it, the movie starts off with a bunch of girls getting ready. Yes. And OK, chicas. And one of the <laughs> worst songs I've ever heard in my fucking life. Just like do, do, one of the do, worst. Do, 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 this movie. Do, do, do has one of the worst soundtracks of any movie I've ever watched. It got to the Billboard uh, Top 100. No. It was 84. You, it can't. Well, it was 84. Were there it's only 100 like, albums made that year? Because I mean, it's got like no Black way. Eyed Peas and Ashley Simpson. And, you know, it's like of the time. The syncing was bad. The quality was bad. It's like someone on TikTok who's just like, oh, here, listen to my music. It's very, very good music. I'm going to be famous one day. That's the kind of music that it was. So sorry. I just noticed in the chat, somebody's asked me what Bratzilla's is. And it's an American line of fashion dolls that was a spinoff marketed as witches with special powers that make each character unique. And That's, witches is with a Z. I wish so. they were Godzilla shaped Bratz dolls like Godzilla with makeup and stuff like that would be dope. Well, wow, I want to hear the best part. Here's the names of them. Yasmina. Sasha Bella, Chloetta. I love it. And Jade. I love it. <laughs> and Jade? <laughs> yeah. I hate uh, it. Sorry. So they're getting ready. It's the worst song you've ever heard in your life. Uh, Yeah. No, it's absolute it's hot, like, hey, hey, dookie garbage. It's about to be a day. The lyrics are so generic. It's exactly. It's like, hey, hey, wake up today. Put on your clothes and go to school. We're going to like, it's like, what the fuck is this music? Who wrote this? Why did they not have enough money to pay composers 
or a good band? Uh, the answer to your question is no. Oh my god! <laughs> what was the budget of this movie? Do you know? It was twenty million. That's a lot of money for the time. And the box office was twenty six. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. at least it made its money back. Sure. <laughs> I'm putting I'm putting Brettzillas on the screen so everyone knows that they're not Godzilla. The Sweet Sixteen took most of the money. That is true. Oh, that's the Brettzillas. Let me look. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, cute. Bratzillas. I like the one in the middle. The one in the middle is kind of cute. If I had to buy a toy. Whoa, I didn't say cute. Oh, my God. Get out of here, you horn dog. Oh, my goodness. I, I want to have I was sex just with that doll. <laughs> Make me a sex doll of a Bratz toy, please. Go back Thank you to the much. beginning of the film. <laughs> Describe to me our four girls. We meet our four main characters. So Who we got, Marcus? We, we have white Hispanic girl. Uh, no. uh, Yas Yasmin. Yasmin. We have... Who's hey. playing Mexican? Who whose mother is Jewish? Playing Mexican. Mm -hmm. Yep. No. And she's I, from Spain. Oh, yeah. She's from Madrid. She's Spain, she was, Spanish. She was Barbara Streisand's understudy on Broadway. Did you know that? I, and she was in yeah, uh, that. whatever that that movie is. My the big Greek, Greek wedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So yeah. she's not Hispanic. So she's Jewish none of those playing Hispanic, and she's Jewish. Yeah. So that was problematic. Also. I'm going to jump ahead just to another problematic while we're on the topic of problematic things. Marcus, you can list off. You can go in every tangent you want about problems because the problematic amount of this film is wild. <laughs> But it doesn't stop thing, the biggest thing because there's immediately problematic stuff at the beginning so we'll jump back to these problematic things but sure. at one point to be like <laughs> oh yes they're hispanic they're just singing la cucaracha la cucaracha la cucaracha you didn't sing la cucaracha growing up with your nick, grandma nick what we're both hispanics how I often did. do you sing La Cucaracha in your home? Growing up with my grandma, like half a dozen times. Ah, wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Okay. Uh, uh, you never did? I, I, when I discovered the song, yes, it was catch, it's a catchy tune. It got stuck in my head for a little bit. And then that was at the end of it. But I didn't sing it because I was Hispanic. It's so crazy and wild. It's like very upsetting the amount of times they're like, this is what Hispanic people do, right? And also- I'm going to teach my children this song just to prove a point. Side note, Nick, what a way to start off Hispanic Heritage Month. <laughs> it started it's this week, month. I think. No, it starts like in the middle of the month. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. What? I've been seeing notices or all around that is Hispanic Heritage Month. Guys, if you want I to love our culture, but, if you but want to who's going to break it to them that a month starts at the beginning and the end? It's not in the middle of the If middle. you want to support Hispanics, guys, donate to our Patreon to support Hispanic Heritage Month. <laughs> okay, back to the podcast. Back to I the promise podcast. after sp I, I will give something deeply, deeply uh, <laughs> revelatory to my Hispanic culture <laughs> right after we get through the Bratz movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah what's hispanic horror like ya yarona that horror movie okay oh yeah totally so they're so all getting ready so yasmin yasmin you get the you get the hispanic one you get the there's an asian one there's uh, uh jade yeah what about one, jade who's jade that's black there's one that's white but like <laughs> okay. white white sasha and chloe three of them are white and maybe even four of them are white <laughs> like in terms of the actors or have white in them because the, the one who's Asian's half white. The yeah. the other one's white Hispanic. So she's like Spain Spanish Hispanic. Okay. Uh -huh. The other one's just white white. And then the Oh wow. Uh Logan Browning is half white. Half and black. Logan Browning's half white. So technically, everyone in this movie is white. <laughs> 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 uh, what if what if but what if uh, what if we just don't know the brats like etymology like maybe the line of dolls is that's that's, that's their part thing of it. maybe that's yeah uh-huh uh-huh brat stands for beautiful rich anglo-saxon <laughs> <laughs> yes love it love it so they're all getting ready and they got on a zoom call i guess which now i'm so used to in real life but like I feel like this would have been weird at the time. I, I wasn't Skyping. It would have 100% been weird at the time. Yeah. Where do they have this computer? What, you know, it's pretty sophisticated. It's now we have, whole ass, we have whole ass movies filmed on webcams now. And then uh, the main character, Yasmina, she's the main character, right? Yasmin? Yeah. Yeah. She's, the yeah. she's main. So she gets up. Her brother is in the bathroom fixing his hair to look like Wolverine. <laughs> I can only uh -huh. assume he's trying to look like Wolverine, which this is I'm correct. not going to lie. When I was that age, I've I did a thousand times. I tried to get really? my hair like Wolverine or Goku or whatever character I liked. Why? 
Because it looks cool as shit, dude. What the I've never fuck? done that. I, I've never done that. That's because you don't have go, Wolverine hair. Well, sh- shut your mouth. I could have Wolverine <laughs> hair. If I want. So he's in the bathroom. Well, what I'm doing his- right now is checking to see if that boy was uh, Hispanic. <laughs> and I can't. He doesn't have a uh, man. <laughs> Got it. William yeah, yeah. May. He. Wow. He stopped acting soon after this film. Because he was so embarrassed. And I get that, too. I also would have stopped acting after this film. He doesn't even have a bio on his IMDb. So he's spending all this time in the bathroom, fixing his hair. She he comes out of the bathroom. She messes it up. And honestly, it looks the same. Nothing changed. But then in the exactly next the shot, he's running downstairs. His hair is completely flat. Uh-huh. So what? I don't know what happened. Did she ruin the structural integrity of his hair and it well, all Marcus, collapsed? If, if the continuity of Manny's hair is what's getting to you at this point, it did bother film, me. We're, we're, we are not, we are not going to make it all the I way had, through. This movie. I would say <laughs> that, like, I had so many problems in the beginning of this movie that I was trying to like take notes about. And then I like yeah. gave up because I like the whole movie is problematic. So it's, uh, it's heavily yeah. focused here. And then the problems become okay. more generic in the middle. So, okay, cool. Keep going. I'm here for it. And then she runs into the kitchen after Manny chases do, her. But do you also do you also notice though? At no point am I defending any of these. Things. <laughs> <laughs> Even when we watched Drag Me to Hell or American Mall, the yeah. other one's like, no, but like maybe that was the point. It's like yeah, no, yeah, it's yeah. being t- everything you're saying. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> totally. Oh yeah. <laughs> she runs into the kitchen <laughs> and, and then you meet her Jewish, not Hispanic, Hispanic mom. Happy Hispanic Heritage Month in the kitchen. While they're getting ready for breakfast, school, there's a, yeah. an entire mariachi band just there. Mm-hmm. It never gets explained. We're never told it's what, the fam- who it's the they family. are. The family. As somebody who who's Marcus, I've been to your home. Oh uh, yes. As somebody and, who, and ha- I, who has, you're right. I do a have a mariachi band. Cast. You're right. In my home, I do <laughs> have a mariachi band. You're absolutely right. Sorry, I did. <laughs> As someone who has a host of people coming in and out of his house, I'm just uh-huh. saying, you know, family, the cousins got to come over real quick. <laughs> what point was that? Oh, uh, Darren just put in the chat. Oh, uh, was uh, that not her grandma? Her name was Bubby. I thought it was the mom. I thought it was the grandma, but I don't. Oh, I don't know. I mean, here's why I think it was the mom, because this movie had no problem pointing out the divorce, Chloe's <laughs> poorness, <laughs> all these things like out their mouth the kids deafness that this mm-hmm. movie would have said my mom is dead if that wasn't <laughs> <the case. laughs> It was the only reason why I think that. So after there being a racist mariachi band in the kitchen. Why is it racist? It's a mariachi band. Intrinsically, a mariachi band is not racist in and of itself. You're right. But in this context, to to emphasize the Hispanicness, it is racist. I Listen, would say. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, when I go home, there's a band playing. And is it mariachi or is it <laughs> not? Show no, it's the not because I'm not Mexican. We're in your apartment right now. Where's the mariachi band? Show <laughs> the <laughs> Twitch stream. <laughs> <the mariachi band. laughs> Come on, boys. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good point. What what's next? <laughs> okay. What happens? Yeah, and then we're just at the school, right? Like uh, um they show a little yeah, bit yeah, of their Yeah, we home have a lives. we have a small there's a small little bits about like Sasha does mention she's divor- her parents are divorced. Jade does mention she has to hide her clothes. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then we get to the school and they yeah, all come, they meet there, they want to walk in together. Yes, they're all friends. And they best from, friends. from the Marcus. design of their rooms, you can tell that they all have like a thing. Like one of their things <laughs> is fashion. One of their things uh-huh. is like also fashion. <laughs> it's another one sports. And then another one's like regular. Her thing is being a Journalism? regular girl. Journalism? Yeah. Shoes. Shoes. It's shoes. Shoes. Okay. I was like, I don't know what I honestly couldn't tell. The the main girl thing, I didn't know what it was. The whole movie, the I was like, I don't know what it was. Journalism, singing, and shoes. Singing. It was singing that she was like afraid of, and then we had to build up the whole movie. I froze. Yeah, uh, we had to build up the whole movie to to get to again. Yeah, and then Jade's thing is she's super smart because she's Asian. Yes, and she loves fashion. Sasha's parents are divorced. She loves this cheerleading. So racist. <laughs> Her parents are divorced. She loves fashion and she's a cheerleader. Uh-huh. Chloe's mother is poor. Uh-huh. She's a single mom. She's clumsy. She loves sports. And Yasmin is a singer and loves shoes. This is That's yes. great. Also, yeah, I was going to say, I'm glad they didn't go with it being so on that their racism being so on the nose that they made the black girl's parents, the mom poor and single and all that stuff i think she ends up oh yeah this movie is super whatever, subversive right? to make the fucking white mom yeah, the poor one you're right yeah, that's yeah, a, yeah. wow sasha Next is level. rich 
I'm on, there's a racism scale going on right now in my head, and it's like, oh, it's a little more balanced. Uh, oh, <laughs> uh, let's see where we are at the end of the film. I definitely want to know the updates. <laughs> But then they all walk in one by one, all hand in hand. But before that, we get to meet our villain of our film. And if I'm being super honest, this is what makes this. Meredith makes this film for me. Like, I think it's cute and it's yeah, fine yeah. and it's interesting. And everyone's trying their best. And it's like, oh, it's this is like dumb. But, but then you get the villain and she is just so awful. <laughs> she she isn't a bad person. Like, just she is rotten and it is upsetting. But she's, her name is it's Meredith. Hard, it's hard watching this movie after watching High School Musical because she's such a Sharpay. She's like the sure. same exact personality, the same exact background. Like she has the little dog and it's but mm. Sharpay was better. Listen, I think I like Meredith's songs better than Sharpay's songs. Whoa, <laughs> hot take. Well, I don't even remember. So her they song both have a it. song. They both have a song named Fabulous. Sharpay's goes. <laughs> fabulous and it's, it's my simple, simple request, request all, all things, things fabulous. fabulous bigger and better and while, while meredith is like fabulous don't hate me because you want me fabulous da, 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 da. wow i'm so fab you back in the day back in elementary people like me nikki you couldn't I remember re the words to the better song but you remember every single word to this version of Fabulous? I really like this movie. <laughs> oh my god. This isn't Jesus a joke, Marcus. Christ. I have challenged you to watch one of my Why? favorite things. I, this I, is I not was sitting there. I was sitting there this whole movie being like, what part of it? Like every single challenge on this podcast, I can get some insight into you. And I'm like, oh, I know why Nick liked this movie. Or like, yeah. I could totally see why Nick liked this movie, even though it wasn't for me. I, I totally sure. get it. This one, the whole time I was sitting there, I was like, what the fuck? I'm trying to get into the mind of 17 year old Nick. And I was like, what was he thinking enjoying this movie? I, I, I couldn't imagine the music's bad so it's not that the like acting i just thought it's good oh my god so maybe it is that <laughs> i just i couldn't figure it out i was these, like these songs are you, fucking bops what are you talking about I, you know what it is just check my gratitude just oh check the latitude god. it's oh a kind of gratitude <laughs> when did i when did high school musical come out i need to know uh, the year before <laughs> I checked because I was also curious. Mean Girls came out in 2004 okay. or five. Yeah. yeah, yeah. High School Musical came out in 2006. Man, all yeah. of my friends got together and watched High School Musical 2. It was good really? memories. Uh huh. hundred percent. I, I saw High School, High School Musical, Musical 3 in theaters twice. So nice. I, I feel you. So they all get to the school and mm -hmm. Meredith is explaining the hierarchy of the school. You yes. meet her father, who is John Voigt. <laughs> yes. <laughs> who's the principal who's trying to run the place like a prison. But we get the idea that Meredith is actually in charge and she's separating everyone by clicks. And yes. so we get the moral of the whole movie. Everything's mm -hmm. a click. And then the four girls who are all like different things yeah walk in and their friends meredith tries to separate them to their tables and they say no thanks and meredith is pissed yeah and that's the whole plot of the movie the girls yeah, but then something happens marcus what happens next well i was gonna say this this school is so obviously a prison like there are signs that say like ah, fuck what does the sign say like free not freedom it says like obey and shit like that like just really fucked up yeah like this is a prison signs there there are like why barbed wire fences and shit like that yeah i and don't then, know how if you were if you're keeping track for your for your racism meter but we do meet jane's mom who's stereotypical uh asian mother uh with her yeah, accent and right. only worrying about the good grades and yes yes so. That's oh, the sign right said obey and submit so pretty intense <laughs> stuff also yes ra racism now is winning against not racism so keeping track yeah so eventually they all have their interests and in order to kind of pursue those interests they have to break off into their separate groups right yeah so one of them joins the soccer team one of them mm -hmm. joins the cheerleader team jay joins the uh academic decathlon people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but also funnily enough yasmin doesn't have anything so the moment comes where they all want to go sit with the team. So they're like, oh, come sit with the cheerleaders. Come sit. Yeah, and they yeah, all yeah. do. And then Yasmin's kind of by herself. Yes. Which was interesting because I was like, oh, yeah, she was the only one from whose room I couldn't tell what she might have liked. So you're saying that the set dressing of the sub uh, 
subconscious messaging of this movie gave you a theme ahead of time and then honored that theme? No, I was saying that the set dressing of the overly uh, indulgent nature uh, (laughs) showed me from an early point in the movie that who everyone was and where they belonged. Hmm. Well, here's the thing, though. At this point, everything's to shit because our best friends aren't talking to each other. They're messaging each other like, oh, can we do next week? Oh, let's do next week. Let's do next week. Mm -hmm. And they stop being friends. Yes. Yes. Because they basically all end up getting sucked into their cliques. Yeah. And then then, Marcus. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. I was going to say there's parts where they show them with their groups and they show the soccer one running around like doing her soccer thing. But the main villain's boyfriend is like, oh, shit. That's kind of sexy. Yeah. I here's the thing about this movie. It's so funny because I think we're supposed to side with Cameron. Like, wow, Meredith is awful. But it's like, no, homeboy is with is is like having sex with Meredith, whatever he wants, and then flirting with the soccer chick. He's oh, an 100%. asshole. No, he's he's, he's an such asshole a fucking also. asshole. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's he's that such weird, an asshole. It's that weird like movie thing that we just accept that like if someone's not the best that like you should cheat on them and it's okay. And it's yeah. yeah 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 absolutely yeah. not so never so, so it's having awful. a bad week it's fine go cheat on them that's every hallmark oh movie goodness. every hallmark movie is like i like business more than christmas and then, and then the wife's like cool that gives me free reign to fuck this guy yeah also just to double down on the thing you're saying about them all being their things we each get a like a little vignette scene of all their things so jade goes into the home at class and fucking makes over the teacher she's great at fashion Mm -hmm. chloe goes and smashes it in during the tryouts and it's like oh get gotta get that girl on the team sasha (laughs) sasha has the same thing that happened in riverdale where they like it was like it's the fucking bring it on thing where it's it's straight from fucking bring it on where she comes in is like oh please this is easy and then it's like okay show us what you got and then sasha dance and everyone's like yeah you're on the team she does like this uh-huh. Uh, uh, uh. And it's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm am I a cheerleader now? Wait, do it wow. again. Oh, thank you. Uh, uh, oh shit! Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god, you're in! Wow! Thank you, thank you so much. Wow! I'm a wonderful cheerleader. Amazing but, uh, stuff. But the movie like does each vignette, and then it tries to do Yasmin's, but she's too scared to go sing into yep. the choir. So, and so she sh- runs into Deaf Boy, the deaf guy who can read lips <laughs> because they didn't want to have him sign language anything other than the first thing he says. That's it. And then I'm they had sure him read lips, and there was no sign deaf. language in the movie. He could have fucking learned sign uh, language. Dylan. If they really wanted to fucking be inclusive, they could have had Marcus, sign language. The, in the Marcus, movie. no, 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 Marcus, this movie is progressive. See, he, 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 he's called our main character ignorant. Come on, yeah, that's true. I actually really like that moment. I, I really like, this was I the really only know. good moment in the entire movie. So she, so Yasmin and him run into each other, and she says something to him, and he's, and he, and she's like, "Can't you hear me? What? You can't hear me? Are you deaf?" And he's like, yes. And she's like, what? He's like, I'm deaf. And she says, you don't sound deaf. Oh, yeah. And he says, well, you don't look ignorant, but I guess you can't judge a book, huh? Oh, <laughs> that was so good. I love that. That, that was, was good. I was like, yeah. Best moments of the movie. Yeah. That was fantastic. It was really good. And, but then and then the camera did this great thing with fucking Yasmin. And we're like, Ooh. yep. Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> Dash 9442 <laughs> makes a good point. They literally took one scene from every high school movie and stitched them together. Oh, yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. Now, after all this, we get their clicks. They aren't friends anymore. We get a time jump. Were you expecting a time jump? I was not expecting a time jump. And not even that. We got a time jump that didn't tell us how long the time jump was. It's like two years later. Well, no, 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 not in the beginning. It was like a little bit before they said two years. It was like a few minutes into the time jump. They were like, oh, yeah, it's been two years. And you're like, what the fuck two years passed i don't know if that's true is that true well maybe sure maybe it said oh uh, maybe i was just looking not away at the screen did it say it on the screen two years I, I thought so i'm looking it's fast forwarded maybe it did whatever i didn't know it jumped two years until someone said the words two years and i was like oh shit we got a time jump i saw yeah, it, no, it literally forward. it says it It says two years later i literally it, it, it comes in purple letters big on the screen you were looking I blinked. away <laughs> <laughs> you blinked you missed it i missed it saying two years on the screen but they said it was two years and i was like holy shit that's crazy to do with time jumps and also the, i guess their friendship honestly, died in his 100 percent. yeah which honestly like listen like this movie's shit i get it it's racist it's uh-huh. problematic but like 
you've had that right that's something like you really deal with like you yeah and for like not a reason like so like casually and like soft and low-key like you don't just stop being someone's friend one day it's just slowly more and more less and less time until the day goes by and you realize you haven't seen each other Mm -hmm. 100 percent. and then you awkwardly meet in the bathroom and you're like oh i guess we used to be friends huh yeah you're like oh we were friends why why'd that stop happening yeah i get that but you lose touch of people but they didn't want to it was because of all the clickiness yeah marcus do you think you have a good handle on like our girls and like who they are and like uh, our our girls our brett's girls oh our, yes, our yes. main girls yes and who, oh. like who they are you think you got a good 100%. handle on who they are i you know think you got their a good personality handle on what, so well you think what you know what makes them brats i know what makes them brats baby oh good thing marcus because you're gonna turn yourself into a brat roll the clip now try this trivia now try this trivia now trivia now trivia now trivia this uh, and Marcus, and I apologize back. so sincerely. Okay, we are back. Marcus, <laughs> I apologize to you so sincerely. Okay. Marcus, Yeah. I couldn't think of a game. I didn't want to quiz you on the brats. I didn't want to, mm-hmm. like, who cares about the fucking... But then I, re- th- th- then I realized something mm-hmm. after watching this movie again. And filled, filled with such attitude. Filled with such gratitude. I was filled with such gratitude. I had to see, Marcus, if you were capable of doing the same thing. So, Marcus, it's time for a makeover! Woo! Woo! Yeah, Marcus, let's go. In that box, I, we, our producer has curated very specific things for you, and you have to make yourself over and show me you can give me the gratitude of everyone. You need to embody Sasha, who is a master of makeup. You okay. need to embody Jade, who is a master of fashion. You need to embody... Yasmine, who's a master of singing. You have to show me Chloe, who's a master of physicality. I even want to see a little bit of Meredith with your hair. Marcus, it's makeover time. You need to use everything in that box to give yourself a makeover. (laughs) Okay, what is in this box? Oh my god, whoa! Anything and everything. You you are in charge of this makeover. Share with the fans what you have. uh, I have Vicks Vapor Rub. (laughs) (laughs) Uh huh. <laughs> Very good stuff. I don't know how I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to breathe well. Um, yep. I have a, a scented candle. That's for just for aesthetics. Uh-huh. A used scented yep. candle. Uh huh. Uh huh. Slightly used. Yes. Uh, yep. 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 I got a hair tie. That's great. This is all very Ooh. familiar stuff. I've got cat food. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm excited what, for you to show me your this gratitude. Is what you had my girlfriend gathering a box of. <laughs> oh, what's this? professional uh, uh some kind of makeup thing oh mascara oh let's go here it's i mascara. do my eyelashes uh-huh uh-huh, uh-huh. uh-huh. no clumping uh-huh. no clumping i feel like you're too good you're like casually doing this like it's not a big deal but you're like doing pretty good no you go at it from the other side you mm-hmm. dingus so you don't like get it mm-hmm. on your nose can you Beautiful. see a difference because i can see Beautiful. a difference you can see a difference i can't see a difference i can you're gonna have to add a little more on though to really embody Sasha. Oh, but what else you got more in your box? Stuff. I'm adding as I go. More stuff. <laughs> that baby is not waterproof, so don't cry. Okay, cool. I've got some Super Stay Matte Ink. What is this? It's lip gloss. This is lip gloss. It's lip sticker lip gloss. It's lip gloss. Yeah, it's lip gloss. Or is it cheek things? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna get. Oh. Just, that's not what that's for. That's for your what? lips. What do you mean? Now I look like a cute anime character. Honestly, you kind of look like Diva, and I'm into it. (laughs) Okay, listen. There are no rules for the Bratz makeover, Marcus. I just need to see gratitude. You do it whatever way you need to do it, buddy. Cat food has summoned my cat, so it's part of it, also, I guess. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, beautiful. Uh huh. I look great so far. Uh, We got in the chat saying Salem is killing Dash Line for two because he wants to be in the box. What do you? That's not what the is Q-tips. That? I don't know. They're just here. You don't have to use everything in the box. You said I have to. Okay, use everything in that. You have to use everything in the box for business <laughs> or pleasure. Or pleasure. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Now. Now I've got something to work with. Okay. okay what do you got okay. here? I've got a little. A little. little oh yes. Oh. <laughs> oh yes. This is uh, fashion. Ooh, this is. You're looking I'm, cute. This is fashion. Oh my goodness! <laughs> What's this, Marcus? Oh, okay. You were looking so cute. Does that lip lip gloss? This is. is that it says gloss? ink crayon super stay. 
I broke it. This is a marker. <laughs> I have no. Oh, what is that? I don't know, but we're gonna. I'm gonna put it on my lips. <laughs> is that lip liner? Is that you put it around your lips to like emphasize them? You might want to take out your Q-tips. It that's to make your lips look big and. Yep, this is it. They make your lips look big and voluptuous <laughs> and. Guys, for everybody listening, Marcus is outlining his lips. He's doing a fantastic job. He looks I'm killing it. Nice and you are, you are killing it. I look beautiful. Uh-huh. You look so beautiful, Marcus. I look you are beautiful. killing it. It's really you are good. Almost, you are almost there to make yourself a brat. This uh-huh. doesn't fit around my head. I don't want to break it. You, you won't, it, won't, it won't break. It's the, no, you got to take your headphones off. You got, your, you got oh, too big of a head? I've got jewelry. Look at that ring. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fashion, Let's see if fashion, baby. fashion. Wow. Pinky ring. Oh, okay. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Oh, pearls. Yes. Pearl necklace. Marcus. Let's go. Oh, Marcus, Man. don't pull out too quick. You don't need too many pearl necklaces. <laughs> Let's go. Hell it's stuck yeah, in your man. headphones. Okay. That's that's you know what? That's fashion. Perfect. Okay. You're right. That's perfect. This okay. this right here is fashion. Okay. You're looking great, Marcus. You need to You're look looking it fantastic. Up. Okay. I just screen captured my screen because I want to save that forever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh marcus i just screen captured we have our next emote guys nice. we have our next emote <laughs> tomorrow i am going to go see my girlfriend's father and meet him uh-huh so we'll see you know this is part of it here i've got nail polish so let's paint one of my okay. nails here uh-huh. just gonna, uh-huh. ooh, all right let's see how marcus paces oh it's a nice silvery ooh, glittery like, color yeah look at that all right ooh, how do you good. feel on your fingers marcus look at that. That's pretty. Honestly, you could rock that. That looks good. It's just one. That's fine. You gotta, you gotta You're leave them wanting five? more. No. Okay. That's gonna, sure. that, they don't want that. They don't. They don't want that. They only want the oh, pointer finger. Here we go. Well, when you point, oh, nice now little it's shiny. Now I'm like you, and they're like, oh my shiny. god, you look so good. <laughs> I got. It little... looks better with the black nail polish underneath. Oh, Marcus, you're supposed to put black nail polish underneath, oh. and then put the shiny stuff on top. Here, my hair. I need to do my hair. Hold on. It's hard to do uh-huh. this reverse. Okay. <clears throat> there you go. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking cute. You're looking fly, girl. I'm looking adorable. Oh, a hat. Yes. And a uh-huh. lighter. Oh, hold on. Oh, I am the bell of the ball. I love this. Hold on. One you more. look so good. You got it. This is this is a, 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 a little known fashion tip is you, you is grab one septum? of these hair clips. No, you grab one of these hair clips and you put them on your lips like this uh-huh. and you leave it there for like a half hour and it like makes your lips look juicy and full. Oh, mm-hmm. OK. You can leave it there while you're finishing up here. Is that everything out of the box? Mm hmm. Marcus, I look at you and I see the fierceness of Sasha. I see the verisimilitude of Jade. I see the gumption of Yasmin. <laughs> and I see the clumsiness of Chloe. Do I see the clumsiness of Chloe? I don't know if I see it. I think the whole thing was pretty clumsy. Oh, hold on. What's. I have this, uh, this ring is in the wrong direction. Oh, oh you got something. A, I'm getting another thing. Oh, my hat. Oh, I Let's see if this is going to be enough to complete your look. what you get? Makeup remover. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Marcus, uh, you won the game. Thank you. You are em- embodying gratitude. You are beautiful. You are lovely. Here she is. And Marcus, you are so good. And I, I know you so well. Uh-huh. In the mail at this time that you get to show off next episode is your very own Yasmin Bratstall. It is I in the mail so right much. now. Why and would you, you will do get this that. <laughs> and you can't throw it away right away uh-huh. at least. And it is your prize for winning this game and being a brat. Thank you. Thank you. You know what's in my yeah. head right now? What? Isn't she lovely? Isn't oh, she yeah. wonderful? That's what's in my head right now. I'm sorry. What's stuck in your head isn't it's all about me. Isn't it about me? It's all about me. Do, 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 do. No. No, that's not Marcus. in my head because that song sucks ass. Like this whole movie well, sucks ass. <laughs> well, we haven't gotten there yet, Marcus. Two year jump. What's going on? Okay, so two we jump. Oh God, I'm re- I look so stupid. <laughs> For those of you listening to the podcast, be sure to check out the clips on social media or jump over to our Twitch and watch the VOD. You can find everything at Now Try This Cast. So I, I keep getting thrown what? off because it feels like you're like oh, I have to do this because <laughs> your lips. <laughs> it works though. Drawing the outline around your lips, it works. It makes them look more voluptuous. They do look more voluptuous. Thank you. 
So after the two year jump, the friends get together again, sort of. They or they end up like tripping over a series of ops of things, and then they all make them yeah, crash. Chloe into one is each talking other. to Cameron, so Meredith sends her dog to trip Chloe, and Chloe trips and hits Jade, and Jade hits Sasha, and Sasha hits Yasmin, and then they start a giant food fight, and they all have detention together. Yes, and that forces them. That's a little, uh, a little like nod to the Breakfast Club, maybe another high school oh, movie. Totally. And yeah, it totally. forces them <laughs> to all get together and realize that they've been missing their friendship. Yeah. And then they need uh, to get back. But right before that, Sasha says, it's because you don't have a daddy or a bank account. Oh, yeah. And I'm that just was like, fucked up. Fuck. That was fucked. That was fucked. I was like, whoa. And even that's, Jade was like, that was too far. <laughs> yeah, that was intense. I was like, that's not that's not what you say to your friend. Holy shit. It's not what you say to anybody ever. That's true also um they, this actually lady... now i kind of want to say it to you sometime marcus that's why you ain't got a daddy oh my god yeah that oh, hurts geez. right that's awful that's rough man <laughs> It hurts. hurts. Yeah. So they end up getting back together or they devise a plan. They're like, basically, we're going to hang out again. Yeah. Um, and then they they try to hang out again. But before that happens, or while at the same time it's happening, the music yeah. teacher gives a deaf, the deaf kid. Oh, my God. Music lessons. <laughs> and yeah. not to say that deaf people can't perform music, like go do your thing, shake your dick. But like, it's just so cringy and awkward and doesn't like need to be there at all. It was just like, I don't know. It was just so weird. And he's like, oh, you can, listen, you can feel the music. And I see what they were going for. But it was just so poorly executed. I think I... I don't know. I don't know what to say. I think <laughs> they were like the death think, kid needs a thing and they couldn't figure out what it was. So they just made it music. I don't know. I think this movie came out in a time where they were still scared to let they like they were too scared to let somebody with uh, that had a disability to just have the disability. Like it's like, mm. no, they had to overcome it. It's like there's nothing to overcome. He, he just can't hear. That's all. He's a it's 17 fine. year old boy. He's overcome it. He's lived 17 years deaf. He's got it. It's OK. Well, no, he didn't. <laughs> oh, when did he become deaf? Well, he he played i don't know but he played he was playing piano oh yeah. as if he like misses music hey beethoven was deaf right uh, was he i don't know is he the one that was <laughs> there was one of them that was deaf uh i don't know you beats me but then but then so we got so we got dylan who becomes a dj because uh -huh. he can feel the music yes so that this this, this scene really upset lexi because she DJ? was she was doing it and the yeah the teacher was talking to him and he was looking away and then he was responding and lexi was like he can't read his lips what's going on she was very yeah. upset at this point okay beethoven was deaf but he also didn't start off deaf so this guy could have been beethoven they both didn't start off deaf they both were playing piano beforehand. Beethoven didn't stop playing music when he became deaf. That sounds like an argument for this movie. No, I'm just saying he, he didn't, but he didn't become a piano player. That would have been more interesting. And I would have understood because of Beethoven. He became a DJ. It's called mapping, Marcus. You take the Beethoven story and you map it to DJ-ness. It doesn't make sense. It's like, how are you supposed to hear what music sounds good together? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Marcus, are you saying a deaf person couldn't be a DJ? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, deaf people. No, the deaf people can't be DJs. It's fine. But they have I like think the movie induction like technology. There, there are yeah. ways to do it that I this movie didn't do. I, I don't think that this movie is incorrect. Like, I don't think it was saying anything wrong. It just didn't have the tact mm -hmm. to do a scene like this. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think yeah, in no, intrinsically... Right. It's not it's not wrong. Nothing's so wrong with the it. scene, but yeah, just yeah. <laughs> so then they decide that they would start merging all the clicks and they start to do it, right? They start to uh -huh. teach the soccer player how to walk in heels. They teach, I don't know, the, the smart guy how to like fight somebody. I don't know. There's yes. like <laughs> they show the, Yeah, so the Bretts, the Bretts try hanging out together again. And yeah. It's not working because all the clicks get mad. They're like, you, if you can't hang out with us, you can't be a part of our clicks. And so they're like, OK, what if we diversified the clicks and show that like one this one thing doesn't have to be your personality trait? And so then, yeah, but they do it in such a weird way. Like they show the science guy beating up a jock. Marcus, not any science guy. Chet Hanks. <laughs> Is that Chet Hanks? Yes, it's his <gasps> first film role. Oh that's my Chet god, Hanks. that's Chet Hanks! That's Chet Hanks. Holy <laughs> yes. shit! Oh my god, speaking of Chet Hanks. Rapper there's a, extraordinaire, there's Chet There's a great Hanks. interview that I had fun and I showed Darren recently. That's uh, the, the kid from Channel 5 who does like YouTube interviews. He interviewed mm -hmm. Chet Hanks. It was very awkward. 
and funny. Yeah. Yep. yep Ooh, yep. I'll check that out. Yeah, Chet Hanks is wild. His story is wild. But yeah, that's this is his first role. That's <laughs> He's the crazy. Kid. He's Dexter. I love yeah. it. He looks nothing like Chet Hanks. He, he, he looks very different now. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot more That's tattoos, a lot more muscles. A lot more tattoos. I could, looking like that, I could see why he did the tattoo muscle route. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree. You with you. So they do all that, and then Meredith starts to see that it's working. So she decides to throw a super sweet 16 party filmed by MTV, even though she already had a 16 birthday party. She decides to have a double sweet 16 or a second sweet 16, which is, Mm -hmm. as far as super villain plots go, pretty good. I I hated all the girls on that TV show because I was like, oh, man, I'm over here, like, having to eat food out of garbage and, like... (laughs) <laughs> they're getting mad their lamborghini is the wrong color yep they're getting mad their yeah. lamborghini is the wrong color so it just was really hard to watch and so the all everyone that's ever been on the show is a super villain in my head so i was like yeah someone throwing themselves a second sweet 16 super villain status i don't remember the show too much but i do remember the episode where the dad did show her her car and she was like i wanted the other color yeah and that was almost it. every episode so it wasn't just the one. Oh, really yeah it happened multiple times this. i didn't see a lot i didn't see a lot of them. but so they have a big it's a big party with elephants and lights and prizes and the way that she's going to get back power is they can only go with their clicks so the girls decide not to go but then something happens and i think that's something that happens is the mom might be an alcohol <laughs> <laughs> wait she got sick right uh <laughs> <laughs> you you, you uh, watched you know. a different movie. I you were reading no. The I mean, like what wh- what made her sick? She she just got sick. S- she, I don't know. I see single poor white mom who like falls asleep instead of doing alcoholic. her work. I think I think wow. alcoholic. Wow. Maybe like I just the watched the beginning of that. I, send. I just watched the beginning of that movie Freaky with Vince Vaughn. Yeah. Same plot at the beginning with the mom. Yeah. She did you know? seem a lot better when she got up. It's true. That's, that's, she did seem she did not seem sick. At no she point did, did she sick. seem You're sick. Right. At no point she seemed sick. Yeah. Uh, but because she was asleep, the girls make all the food for her. And then at the last minute, <gasps> the servers drop out and they say, yes. we'll do it. They, so, so the Brett's they, girls team up. They weren't invited to the party, but they end up going to the party anyway because uh, they have to servers. be the servers and they cooked all the fucking food yeah. imagine imagine your enemy uh-huh. throws a birthday party and you end up having to cook all the food like that's so fucked up yeah that's pretty fucked up that's pretty fucked up man yeah but i would do it to save my mom from her you know disease <laughs> yeah and then the whole party happens and we'll get to the party or i guess we'll talk about the party more but the whole party there the, the the villain is like your mom's poor again and again and again yeah. do you fucking yeah. slip up i'm firing your mom because she's poor she'll have nothing and it's like okay hold on she seems to have a successful catering business their house is pretty nice so like chill the yeah, fuck the out poor in this world is seems different than our world yeah but mm-hmm. i will say this the the girl playing meredith forget her name is it chelsea chelsea kane chelsea kane mm-hmm. she um listen say what you want about this film she was a great villain for me like every time she had to say like oh because your mom's poor that's that's hard to pull off smiling through this like meanness and like being this like irreprehensible i don't know i I feel like she was i don't know man i just see sir sharpay i couldn't get past that i couldn't give her her own like agency in this movie i was like well then what did you think marcus play Play me through when you were sitting there and you didn't think this movie was a musical and then it gets into her musical number, fabulous, at her own birthday party. Again, I was like this whole movie with the dog, with everything, even with the little floaty that she's in, in her like bathhouse. I was like, that's very Sharpay. This is all very Sharpay. The whole thing is Sharpay. And then she goes on stage and sings fabulous. And I was like, we've already done that well high school musical 2 came out oh my god i think it came hold on it came out hold on hold on it came out two weeks after the brass movie wow does that make you feel Do you better? think there are spies on set <laughs> <laughs> uh maybe that that's very possible uh-huh or or maybe popular fabulous was just a popular thing to kind of it was it was of the time it was yeah, of yeah. paris hilton time and that's why the, the dog isn't from sharpay it's because of paris hilton right like that's the yes 100 percent. also i'm looking yeah. at this clip of the mom and she's definitely an alcoholic you're right <laughs> oh she's like laying down I, and she's just like oh i can't do this <laughs> and like goes to lay down but she doesn't look sick or anything i think she was just drunk and then she wakes up the next morning she's fine yeah exactly 
So you didn't like this musical number at all? I Come on. I did it's like not. funky I fresh. Genuinely, genuinely. I'm not lying to you at all. I did not like it. It was very bad. I could see it was kind of fun. It was it's, fun. It was so very I could, bad. I could understand if someone liked it. I, I'm not like, oh, Nick, you're an idiot for liking it. But I really was just like upset by how bad it was. I mean, I was 17. I don't I have nothing to apologize for. <laughs> oh, 100%. No, you're good. I do yeah. like also that the like during the dance number, the dancers in the back seemed like annoyed with her, which is pretty funny to me. Oh, yeah, they totally were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There Some was the like background. a little like good. There was a good background actor acting happening there there's whole there's a whole bunch of sequences in this film that are like like so stereotypical like they went to the other cast and said all right guys now you're upset (laughs) now you're excited yeah throughout this musical number all the movie every reaction it happens all the time and you're like wow they did not have the budget nope to let film people while the number was going on nope they're like this just happened you're excited yeah that's that's a perfect way of explaining it that's exactly no it was a it was a wild movie and then she but, decides but then, to show. Oh yeah, she shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go she ahead. shows the the main girl singing La Cucaracha with her mom or grandmother. Being or very racist. Being very racist. And then she's like, "Look at that! Isn't that funny? How weird!" And it's like, "Okay, and it doesn't work. It doesn't work because the Dylan. deaf guy, Dylan, Dylan, mm-hmm. the deaf guy. His, he is his he name is Dylan. Up. I'm saving you he from yourself, up. Marcus. His he name is up, Dylan, and he's like." let's start singing spanish songs and then they get up and they sing spanish songs and everyone's dancing in like a conga line because Mm -hmm. they're also racist or they're celebrating their racism i don't understand what's happening necessarily but i get it they're like look how fun if they were singing like cucaracha at least that kind of made sense maybe well they were they were oh i thought they were singing something else no they were the dj like puts on like a remix of like it's like that's why like with that like a beat then she falls in her cake while mtv is recording and it's a whole thing and she gets upset classic like revenge on the bully kind of stuff except they didn't do anything they didn't push her into the cake she just kind of fell into the cake yeah that this is also true uh so then as a last ditch effort they decide to do the talent show and that would be the last big move to get mm-hmm. Yasmin to sing, to get Meredith to lose, yep. to get like all the clicks to go is to do the talent show. Everything culminates at the talent show in all yeah. high school movies. This, Yeah, there is a big battle of the bands uh-huh. kind of moment. Yeah. At the end of every at the end of a lot of these things, yeah, the, 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 the spring musical and high school musical. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. God, the crazy fact that they were like auditioning for a musical and it doesn't happen in the first movie still fucks. With it didn't my happen mind. in any of the movies. Oh, no, it happened in the third movie. In the yeah, third yeah. movie, there was an actual musical. Yeah. Uh, did you see High School Musical, the musical, the series season two yet? No, not yet. It was good. Really? Yeah, I, I it. liked it. I've been watching so, ReZero. Still good. Oh, I, oh, I haven't watched more of that yet. So after that, Meredith decides to <gasps> use her jump drive. <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> They've been this whole thing in the movie everybody. where they're like, yeah. I have a jump drive where she keeps all of her like blackmail porn? shit. Blackmail stuff. Blackmail stuff. Yes. Yes. yes and yes, then yes. so then Yasmin quits being their friends, and then they ultimately find out it's because of the blackmailing. Mm-hmm. And they still band together and do the talent show. Yeah. That's basically the movie. Though yep. everything I just described is like another half an hour somehow. It there's another half hour left in the movie. I think there was a moment in it where Darren looked at the movie and she's like, There's no way there's a half hour left. And we both all died a little bit inside. I think the to movie be fair, took off. To like be two fair, years from this movie life. is only an hour and a half. It just in my head it just has three music videos at the end is all it <laughs> yeah. really is yeah, yeah, yeah that's true it does yeah, yeah that's extra like 15 uh, minutes at the end or whatever yeah and so then at the talent show meredith sings it's all about me mm-hmm. which is like super cringy for everybody in the audience yeah. but i like it it's uh, it's rough she, she, she literally during the song she's like madonna ain't got nothing on me oh my god yeah she's, but beyonce ain't it got was like on. a diss track for people way more famous than her it was like it was a, yeah, yeah. Beyonce this track a little for bitch. everybody but her. She's not as hot as me. I'm 16. Yeah, and baby. she literally bounces her little butt and she's like, but but Beyonce ain't got nothing on me. It was disturbing to watch. It was, and then, it was tough. And then the brats they sing. All, and well, it, before they, they sing, they're like, we're gonna sing. And Meredith's like, I'm gonna show everybody everything. And it's a very mean girls moment of like you know, uh, of like giving, giving the, wait, what movie is it? Wait, it's not my mean girls. What's the movie where they give the homecoming crown to everybody a piece of it? Oh, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about though, right? She's all that. Is it mean girls? Maybe mean girls. Oh, dash nine, four, four, two says mean girls. I thought it was mean girls, but I can't, who, 
is did Lindsay Lohan? She's like, it's Mean Girls. Okay, fine, it's fine. It's, it's Mean Girls. <laughs> yeah, so it's like a Mean Girls moment where it's like everybody get up and tell us your deep dark secrets, and everybody mm. tells their secrets, and then they sing. Yes, but it is also another bad song. Like not a, not a single one of these songs. Um, was what, I'm sorry. What are you talking about? Gratitude. They were all bad songs. I had like a flash of you singing gratitude when i heard this song i was like why do i know this song i definitely like didn't listen to this ever and i was like oh because nick fucking sings it all the time he's always like it's not my gratitude it's just my platitude. just take the latitude it's attitude. not a platitude yeah. no i've just heard checked you sing the this gratitude before, and you it's should not be my attitude <laughs> it's my breath titude man this movie was hot garbage it was yeah. one of the worst movies I've ever watched. Like, and it ends with them winning a scholarship for the poor girl. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then a movie producer asked them to come sing at a movie premiere because there's a lot yes. of singers at movie premieres. It was like a worse version of Josie and the Pussycats, a worse version of High School Musical. It just yep. tried to do all of the things in one movie and it failed on every front yeah. for me at least here's the thing about this though like it, i i feel like it's so close to being one of the like it it tried to do too much and uh-huh. it just didn't do any of them well but like if one of these leads ended up being like <sighs> scarlett johansson as a kid or like just like like yeah. one like little twist of a change mm-hmm. somewhere something they got a name they got a different writer one yeah. of these songs happened to hit on the billboard I don't know. It could have been a staple. If he said it was a box was... office bomb. Yeah, you're right. If this movie was better, it could have been a staple. <laughs> that is what I said. Yep. That is that is exactly what I said. <laughs> uh, come on. There's got to be something. Got to find something good. I, I 0%. The dog. The dog and the deaf guy scene were, were the best moments. The dog was Oh, cute. when he dissed her? And I like the outfits. Yeah, when he dissed her, that was I legitimately laughed. I was like, oh, shit. And I was like, maybe I'll be wrong about this movie. Maybe there'll be moments like this. And it wasn't. It was just love. I know. Wouldn't it have been great if it was more moments like that? Yeah. Like, no, it was like amongst the hot garbage. It was just basically like the monkeys in a room typing, you know, where it's like eventually yeah. one of them will type Shakespeare or write Shakespeare or whatever. Like it was that. And eventually That's one of them happened. will write the Bratz movie. Yeah. <laughs> Good way of, of thinking about multiverse well theory. <laughs> listen when i think about high school and i think about yasmin chloe mm-hmm. sasha and jade i think about best friendship i think about staying together to the end and you know what listen i i have friends from middle school all the way till now it happens you, you know share movies with people a lot did you ever make what anyone watch this movie no <laughs> <laughs> no i i am very no i i all the people around me i'm always giving recommendations and lending my movies yeah, and doing yeah, this yeah, yeah. this stayed on my bootleg shelf the entire time for just me joseph has never seen this i've never asked anyone to watch this film when people say guilty like people say like sex in the city that's a guilty pleasure and i'm like yeah. i understand where the phrase is coming from but that's like an award-winning show. Yeah, no. Millions yeah. and millions of people watched that show. Yes. So when I watch Sex in the City, there are people I could commiserate with about that. So I don't really yes. consider that a guilty pleasure. Why? Because no, I'm I... not the demographic? Whatever. You're fucking sexist. Get the fuck out of here. I can watch <laughs> anybody have sex anywhere. Don't fucking slush shame. Get the fuck out of here. But when people say guilty pleasure, I'm like American Mall, Bratz movie. Yeah. Those are my guilty pleasures. I get. I. I mean, as someone who likes really bad horror movies, like oh, it's totally the same thing. My kind of guilty pleasures. I get that. Yeah, I get that being a guilty pleasure. But like, oh, that itch for you is the same kind of itch for me, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like you're laughing at how bad it is. I'm laughing at how bad this is. Yeah. Shows that are great aren't guilty pleasures. People are like, oh, Breaking Bad's a guilty pleasure. It's like, no, it's just a good show. It's the most popular show ever. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Oh, I I watch a lot of hockey. It's my guilty pleasure. Shut up. People fucking Hall of Fame winners. Olympic is an Olympic sport. What are you talking about? (laughs) But but this movie is totally one. And honestly, I love that you compared it to the bad horror movies because I've seen one or two of the bad horror movies. Most of them you don't have anyone watch because you know how horrible they are. 100%. But they're like so, so bad. But they're yeah. so bad, they go like past being bad, yeah. and they're just funny to you. Uh-huh. That's what teenage angst movies, because I legitimately like teenage angst movies, yeah. and you legitimately like horror movies. I do. But sometimes when they get so past B, they go to C or D, mm-hmm. it's like, yeah, I like this jab. <laughs> that makes, I I totally see that. This wasn't for me, but I totally, totally yeah. can, can relate to that. Because there are plenty of yeah, people yeah, yeah. I've shown bad horror movies to that are like, this is too bad, I can't watch it. I just can't. 
And I'm like, yeah, you're missing out because it's great. And I love it. <laughs> What's the do you know off the top of your head the worst horror movie you've ever seen? Because I know there's some bad mm. horror movies that you like, like Birdemic or Things Killing, but those are like staples of the B movie horror genre. Is there yeah. like a really bad movie that you're like, nobody likes this? This is really bad. It's hard because I, I think the, the worst horror movies, uh, you're like one are that like I just weird. didn't like. The worst horror movies no, I are mean, the like, ones that like don't that aren't good. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like where they're mediocre. Like, being mediocre yeah. is kind of just like the worst the thing worst, you could yeah. do because you're not memorable. Yeah. Killer Sofa is what Dash 9442 says. I love Killer did Sofa. You make her, did you make her watch a, I did. a movie I mean, about a Killer Sofa? Yeah, it was great. Well, you mean wish, the, maybe you might wa- end up watching it for Spooky Boys Month, but it's it's called Killer Sofa, but technically it's a killer recliner. So they got that fact wrong the whole movie. Wow. But oh, it was it's good. New. Yeah. Oh my god, the picture looks ridiculous. Guys, I'm looking at the picture and the recliner has teeth and eyes and it's covered by blood. It's awesome. It's awesome, awesome, oh awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh my god, this looks awful. This I looks awful, it. awful, awful. My dream is to be in a movie like this someday, though. Honestly, me too, man. If if I feel like I don't want to be an actor or anything, but like I would... If someone needed a tall, scary man to chase him in the woods, like hire me. I'm available. Listen, if I ever get to that point, I will totally put you in my B horror movie, yeah, Marcus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. And okay, Marcus, Nick. that's the Bratz movie. You did it. You watched it. You survived. You've come to the other side. Oh, yeah. How do you feel? Are you changed? What did you think I of the Bratz movie? I am a scared man. I am a changed man. <laughs> I never want to see a Bratz toy movie ever again. oh good you have one in the mail god damn it i hate you so much <laughs> i want to see pictures on social media when you open it up ah you suck you suck so bad somehow that ended up being one of the most expensive prizes we've given each other <laughs> oh no really that's crazy well it's it's brand new i can't i couldn't find an old one and it's um it's their 20th anniversary so it's the oh, 20th anniversary god. wow thank you i'll have i'll display it proudly in my honestly i didn't think to check uh, fucking ebay i should have done gonna that say, you should have got a used breath doll oh my god they're expensive they are yeah they're like vintage now oh my god so dumb <laughs> so, okay we talked about Marcus, before i ask you the questions i just want to like tell me one last like a serious thought about this movie and your takeaway okay take your time mm-hmm. if i had to say something about this movie that i haven't said you do already, have to yes i would say that this movie is the worst of its genre and i feel like there's a lot of bad movies in this genre there's a lot of like yeah. schlocky kind of like oh let's make this movie for a paycheck kind of movies sure. but this might be the worst offender of it's all of, of all of it it felt wow, like worst. a cash grab. It felt like they Ooh. were like, look at all these wonderful like things that are popular right now. Let's just combine them all into one. Let's make mm-hmm. this a disgusting movie soup and mm. serve it to an audience. And mm. I wasn't here for it. I didn't want any of that soup. It was disgusting. Marcus, did you like this movie? I love this movie. It was great. No, I'm just kidding. I hate this movie. It was very, very bad. It was a bad movie. Did you have a good time watching it? I had fun talking about it with you and doing the okay, podcast. Okay, I'll take that. I will take that and not ask any follow-up questions about that because I'll take that as a win. <laughs> Marcus, would you recommend this movie? I would recommend movies that inspired this movie. <laughs> I, would a say, answer. I would say that this movie sucks <laughs> ass and no one should ever watch it. But sure. if you're gonna if you if you want to watch good high school movies, there's plenty of good stuff out there you know what if i told you marcus high school musical mean girls classics Mm -hmm. marcus what if i told you that somehow against all odds they got our main four our main five girls back together and there was a high school 10-year reunion and they were making a sequel to the brats movie would you watch it how much am i getting for it nothing then no I don't think I would watch it. Come on. At this point, I bet Is you would watch happening? it a little I bit. I would watch it. I would watch it. No, no, it's not happening. It didn't make okay. nearly it didn't make any money. No, for <laughs> a second, uh, for a second, my brain went <gasps> because there's a a fan picky a fan Wikipedia, like a fan uh, fanon yeah, yeah, yeah. where it where it talked about it really quick, like it was real. And I was like, what? When does this come out? And then I looked at the comments and someone else said, when did this come out? And said, you fucking idiot. Look at the title of this thing. It's a fucking fan site. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's me. Oh, okay. man, that sucks, man. 
Yeah, no, uh, it was a rough movie. It was a rough movie. What did Lexi think of it? Lexi was mad at me about most of it. She fell asleep and she had to finish it on her own. But I will say she is a great supportive girlfriend because she did send me as she was finishing the film the next morning when she was getting ready for school. She sent me the fabulous song and she was like, oh, I understand why you like this. And I was like, yeah, uh, you get yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you nice. get me. That's nice. And honestly, nice. honestly, I think I don't regret giving this to you. But sure. honestly, this probably would have been a better thing to watch with you as oh, a commentary. Yeah. So I could have been like, oh, Marcus, this is the moment. Oh, this is the, oh, yeah, yeah. the no, friends. They're not together. I agree. Because <laughs> I was that doing that nice. to Lexi and it was a lot of fun. Yeah. I was thinking that, too. I well, was like, man, I wonder if there was a way to watch this like on stream and just talk. Well, over it. I was free on YouTube. So if there was one, this would have been the one we could do. Amazon. Guys, if that's something you we would be interested in, let us know in the comments mm -hmm. below. You can get it at our, you can get at us everywhere at now. Try this leave us five star reviews on itunes marcus what is next week gonna be buddy next week we are starting a little early for spooky boys month because this is news to me are we yes because Ooh. we've got too much spooks to give and one of them is gonna be a fan challenge and we have to do dune so I, I feel like I I want to start early with a light spook not a deep spook because we'll wait till we'll wait till October to get the deep spook but a light spooky. A light spook. Yes. Nick, I'm going to give you Over the Garden Wall. Isn't that a cartoon? It is a cartoon. That's scary? It's uh, It's got spooks. It's a very good October watch. It's not spooky. It's a good I've fall never watch. This. It's great. I. Uh, you know how I know this TV show? How? I know that ukulele girls on the internet with like fucking like uh, fucking bunny tattoos on their ankles love this film. I I am one of them. <laughs> Oversized glasses and bangs. Uh huh. You know. I mean, we've got what? Elijah Wood, Christopher Lloyd, oh. John Cleese. Oh. Good oh. cast. Awesome uh, soundtrack. Awesome animation. Twenty fourteen. It is. It is one of my favorite pieces. He's just of, reading the Wikipedia. <laughs> it is one of my favorite pieces of media that exists. Period. Really? 100%. I love okay, this. I would well, get an over the garden tattoo if I could. I will. Probably. Oh, I mean, you that's can. my next one. You, you, you can. All right. Well, Marcus, next week we're doing over the garden wall. Guys, join us on Patreon at patreon.com slash now try this cast. Leave us five star reviews on iTunes. Thank you so much for coming out. Marcus, get us out of here. Woo! Guys, thank you for joining us. We love you oh okay now go you look ridiculous there. you look, look so beautiful. ridiculous I look you look beautiful you look beautiful now go out there and try some things good night good night friends get together so they can try things oh can't hear me Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, my I can microphone. hear him. And let me tell you, he is not saying anything important except. Oh, uh, come well, on. Here, I'll dictate what he's saying. He's saying, Nick is the best. He said, Can you hear me now? Show. Can you hear me now? <laughs> That's funny because this oh. is a delay. We got to wait to see if they can hear you. Oh, oh can you hear me now? We did it. I've been having microphone oh. issues. Nice, 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 nice. What were you saying? Okay, so we're going to go. I'm going to leave and I'm going to come back. You ready? <laughs> oh, yeah. So, sure. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm leaving. Goodbye. What? <laughs> Hello and welcome to Now Try This, a podcast where two best friends get together every week to talk about their favorite things. I'm Marcus and that's Nick. Marcus, you cut away and tried to do the intro again as if I'm going to edit around it. And that is not the case. Marcus, <laughs> thank you so much for joining me. Guys in the the chat in the live things. Oh my god, this is not try this. We try things. <laughs>